hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm here to do some more missing people cases um somebody tried to silence me from doing this but i'm back so it's gonna be every tuesday we are here to break the codes we are here to see where their bodies are located we are here to see they are alive or deceased and we also here to see if body suits are being made of them okay this is about a young lady she said she was actually at my halloween party at my party when I first got this city, she said she went into the bathroom and he just, and Bloody Mary got her out the middle, okay? I told you, I used to throw parties every day in my life, like, back in the day, all I did was throw parties. Like, I was a party house. Like my grandma said, I was the party house. I celebrated every damn day. Anyways, her name is Eva, E-V-A, Marie, M-A-R-E, Murphy. Missing, missing, went missing on Halloween 1988. This is how she looks. The case of Eva Marie Murphy is a Halloween mystery. On October the 31st, we didn't have Halloween back then, but this, I guess that's what they call it. On October the 31st, 1988, Eva was living at a boarding house in Miami, Florida. I did have boarding houses, y'all, down here. There aren't many details made publicly available regarding her missing person case, but on that day, Eva left the house and never came back. According to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System, name us, she said, I am not at fault. Eva's loved ones have never seen or heard from her again, so yes, yeah, Gina did do it. The free nine-year-old reportedly had two children that were left in her grandmother's care, which was my grandmother, Eva was known to frequently frequent the Miami Dada area of Perrine and vanished from the 10200 block of SW Southwest 176 Street. This is how she looks at will at a wedding. Could be mine, so I don't know. At the time of her disappearance, Eva stood 5 feet 2 inches to 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighed anywhere between 160 to 185 pounds. She had brown hair and brown eyes. It's noted in her case file that Eva has Afro-India hair texture, she said which they love, and often wore her curly wavy hair and a short Afro or updo. She's saying yes. Both of her ears are pierced, and Eva has a scar on her abdomen, scars on the soles of her feet, and a small birthmark on one of her fingers, possibly her thumb, okay? My bad, it was her grandmother, okay, my bad. Okay, it was my grandmother. It is not known what she was wearing when she disappeared, but it's said that her typical attire, attire a tear, a tear, included blue jeans, sneakers, and a gold chain with a, go, a gold cross pendant. The gold, the gold jewelry is sold, she said. They do like blue. She also went by the name Eva Marie Rogers. Okay, I'm hearing Roger Day. Okay, this is also her missing, her missing people case, her missing flyer, flyer. Anyone with information about this mysterious cold case is urged to contact the Miami Daddy Police Department at 305-715-3300. Please share this story about Eva Marie Murphy to reunite the discussion regarding her missing person case. She is our sister and her life matters. So if y'all still want to help with this case, y'all can, okay? Contact the number below, okay? I'm out, peace.